Hello, viewers. Josh Magnus here. And now we're about to chat for this uh, very unique but short telecast. I want to talk about finding a law that is operating in your life at every point in time. You know, as a believer, just like Paul said in Romans 8, he said, I find then a law. It is important for believers to appreciate and understand the truth that it doesn't matter what is happening, whether things are rough, whether things are smooth. Those things are happening because either by design or by default, you have triggered off the mechanism of the operation of certain laws. And it's important for people to look at their lives and take a critical evaluation of what is going on. Because I tell you, for everything that is going on in your life, there is a spiritual law that is predominantly at work that is causing those things to be. Things don't just be. And there are laws undergirding everything as they play out on the face of the earth. For example, Paul found a law operational in his life in Romans 7, which is very, very important. And he said, I find a law that anytime I want to do good, evil is present with me. That means Paul found out that every time he wanted to do something good, something evil shows up in the environment. And he took a spiritual investigation and to be, you know, very much concerned about what is going on for you to begin to find a law. I'd like you to pause uh, for a moment now and begin to look at your life. What, what are the laws that you think are the governing principles or operation and determining what is going on in your life at such a time as this? And if you find a negative law, just like Paul did in Romans 7, the beautiful thing is that you can change it. Because in Romans 8, Paul now had to switch on to the operation of another law entirely that is called the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Because what was responsible for the other law of sin and death in the life of Paul was because he was still very much under condemnation and he was allowing certain things to develop in the environment that made the other negative law to be fully operational in his life. And by, by the time he got to Romans 8 and he understood the operations of the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, everything changed. And that is what I just want this telecast to uh, do. I wanted to cause a strategic evaluation of what is going on in your life, in your business, in your ministry. And we're going to look at, just take a cross section of what's going on and find the law that is operational. And if you find a negative law, it, it, it shows up in routine, in trends, and what have you. Then you have the biblical right to change those laws by the law of the spirit of life that is in Christ Jesus so that you can be made free from the law of sin and death. And that's what I just want to share. This is Lord Magdalene here saying, make sure the laws of oppression around you are positive laws and eliminate the effect of every negative law. Thank you very much for listening. Signing out, Daniel Schmack Day at TBC Center, Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. Bless you.